Welcome back, everyone. My channel is all about helping San Clemente families make smart real estate decisions. And for many of my clients, the school system or the school that their kids are gonna be entering to is the number one priority for them. This topic definitely hits home for me. Having a newborn in the house, I'm having to think through these exact same thoughts that so many of my clients go through when they're trying to find a neighborhood to live in. What school is my kid going to attend? What school is my child gonna make friends in? Today I'm gonna to share with you three resources that help our clients find the best school systems. Stay tuned. All right, so the first tool that I wanna share with you guys, greatschools.org. This is an amazing tool where you can hop online and it's actually the very same source of data that the massive real estate website Zillow uses to get their school information and data. So you definitely wanna check that out. All right, so now we have the website up in front of us. So you can see here, you can type in a city or a county into this search bar and it will show you all the schools in that area or type in a specific school name and you can pull it up that way too. So right here where the mouse is, you will see all the schools in San Clemente and you can see that it gives a rating for each of the schools. So it's important to know what the rating actually is here. It's an average score of the school's academic progress, equity, and test scores. All right, so let's take a look at San Clemente High School. I'm hovering over it now. It has an eight out of 10 rating. So at first glance, you might be thinking, wow, that's an awesome school. But if you look right over here, you can see that it, it has a section where parents and students can leave reviews and feedback. So it has a three out of five stars. Now, what's important to note here is, is just like when you look at something on Yelp, you know, they're disgruntled kids or parents, you know, who might've had a bad experience and have a louder voice will leave reviews. So you need to take it with a grain of salt. But what I, what I really love about this website is you can, you can take a look for yourself. You can look at the eight out of 10 rating and then you can look at the 3.2 out of five star rating, which isn't bad. A lot of schools have that because that's an outlet for people to you know, voice their concerns. So it's, it's all in all very different feedback from just looking at Zillow, for example, and seeing, oh, an eight out of 10 star rating. So I really like that about this website. All right, so let's scroll down here on the website. And as you can see, it gives us some other useful information in regards to college readiness. Very important, right? Uh, advanced courses, student to teacher ratios. And if you keep scrolling, you can also read here about some of the reviews left by students and parents. All right, so the second resource that I wanna share with you guys is Google Maps. Most of us are pretty familiar with Google Maps, but it's cool to zoom out, look at the map function, and you can see the school here on the map, and you can see what parents and students are saying about the schools. All right, so once again, with San Clemente High School as our example here on Google Maps, you can see it here. I'm circling it with the mouse. Remember on greatschools.org, they had a 3.2 out of five star rating from students and parents. Here on Google Maps, they have 41 reviews. That's a healthy sample size with a 3.2 out of five star rating. You can scroll down, keep scrolling down here on the page and see what people are saying. But remember, you have to be cautious. Some of these reviews may be disgruntled students and their teachers, you know, getting into a quarrel and you, you just have to take it with a grain of salt. But you can also see that some of these reviews have been very useful and they have relevant information. All right, so the third resource that I'd like to recommend to you guys is Facebook. Uh, if you have a Facebook page, you can go ahead and start searching for groups in your city. In San Clemente, we have a very active community on the San Clemente Life Facebook group page. I wanna say there's 30 or 40,000 members on that page. And if you wanna do a specific post asking a question about a school, I know that people would love to chime in and, and help you and, and answer with comments. And uh, you can get a dialogue going that way or you can even search here on the toolbar and, and ask a specific uh, question in your search query and you'll probably get old posts and comments that you can review there as well. All right, so if you're trying to decide on moving to San Clemente, please check out my YouTube channel where I have a ton of videos on moving to San Clemente. 
I also have living in San Clemente, pros, cons, a ton of good content for you guys to make a decision on, on if this is the right city for you. So if you have a specific question too, I mean, I've had, you guys have been all so awesome on this YouTube channel. I have people reaching out to me, Ryan, what, what kind of electric bike would you recommend? Ryan, uh, this is what we're looking for. What neighborhood do you recommend? I've gotten a great outpouring of, of comments and questions and I love responding to you all. So please, my number is here below. Feel free to text and reach out. Take care.